Hi, this is Steve from Conductive Labs, and today we're going to talk about the MRCC modifier channel mapping. So let's go uh, rotate over to that and then go down into the channel map. Now this first number we encounter here is uh, which channel map we're using. There are six different channel mappings. Each one of the modifiers on the MRCC has six different ones. Okay, so just rotate the dial and you can see it goes one through six, so that's how we choose it. Um, now let's modify um, channel map number one. So I've got this beat step here and it is programmed right now to send MIDI messages out on channel three. Um, I know that because I can come back here and when I click on any of the pads it shows me that it's on channel three. Now let's pretend I don't know how to um, change the channel here and I need to map it. So I will come over here and I will come down to three and I will just map it to channel one. There you go. Now I've created this modifier channel map one that maps channel three to out, uh, input channel three to output channel one. So let's go back up to the main screen and over to my routing and let's make a routing. So let's route it over to the Volca, which we know is on channel one. And we needed to load in this channel one, channel map um, preset one. Now if I wanted the other channel ones, I could just rotate the, um, the knob and choose channel one through six. But we're, we've modified the preset for channel uh, one. Okay, so now I hit that button. What's happening is the inbound messages are on channel three, but they're getting um, mapped to channel one so the Volca can hear them. Okay. Um, that's <laughs> that crazy cacophony is uh, from a previous video because the stop start continue message. There we go. So now we're filtering the stop start continue in addition to modifying the channel. Okay, so let's go back there to the channels. Now I can just by uh, when the box is selected, if I press on the um, encoder button, it'll pop me back over uh, directly to that modifier so it's easy to edit. Um, there was another um, uh, field up here called exclusive. So an exclusive is no, what that means is it'll map everything in this mapper and in addition it'll pass all the channels that you haven't mapped. So in this case um, channels 5 through 16 are not mapped and anything coming in on channels 5 through 16 through this routing will just be passed through. If I had exclusive on then it will be just exclusively these channel mappings only and it will not allow us to um, pass anything beyond the four that are chosen right now, which is channels one, two, three, and four. Five through 16 will be blocked. Um, I could go down here and um, let's turn that to no. I could change this to any channel I want. Now notice if I try to go back past two, it won't let me because channel one is already used in a different slot. So it only allows me to choose a unique channel. Uh, however, I can route the outputs to to the to any the, the same the same channel mapping. That's fine. And then um, I believe when you go up here, if you go backwards on the knob, it'll go all. So now this will map all channels to channel one, which is also uh, workable. Yep. So. Um, now it doesn't matter what the um, channel inbound channel is, it'll map it all to channel one. So that's another way of doing it. Um, thanks for listening and um, hope this helps explain channel maps a little better. Thanks so much.